What's going on, guys? Disorderly Product News here. This video coming up is coming from Lackluster. And since this video came out, which was about a month ago, I've been wanting to do a narration over it. I've been This video more than any other video I have fallen in love with. Anyways, um, what it is is an undercover operation. And it is probably the most petty undercover operation you've ever seen. If this is not policing for profit, there is no such thing as policing for profit. I'll leave the link for the original video in the description. I'll the link, leave the link for Lackluster's channel in the description. Uh, then go to his video and look in the description and try and help him out with that. I cannot talk about that. Once you get to the description and you read it, you'll understand why I can't talk about it. Anyway, so sit back and watch the most petty police undercover investigation ever by the Los Angeles Police Department. And I use that term loosely. Wow, I've had way too many Red Bulls today. People are the two individuals that entrapped me right here and they're trying to do it right now. They're trying to get every other Uber driver. They're trying to get every other Uber driver and Lyft driver right now. It'd be dope if I could catch one. Look at him, waving people down. The woman said that she didn't have a phone, or no, she said that her phone was she said her phone was out of battery and the guy said he had a flip phone. Wait, th there's no way those are two LAPD officers who are acting as stranded travelers trying to find a good Samaritan and tug on their heartstrings and then say, surprise, here's a ticket. There's no way that's happening. They're trying to catch all kinds of good people. Watch this. Hey, brother, those people are undercover cops. I just got a citation for this. Oh, really? Yeah, they trapped me. Yep. Good job, guys. I see y'all in court. Oh. Look at Officer Wong in disbelief that his big break on the vice squad is coming to an end at the hands of an angry Uber driver. And why are you going to the Staples Center with a whole bunch of luggage anyways? Where are you going to put it? Oh, let's go watch the Lakers and bring all our luggage and just sit it on our lap. That's a great idea. It's a stadium, not a hotel, moron. Then they immediately take out their phones that none of them had working. So they are asking people to help them out in a time of need. And when they help them out, they give them a ticket. Are you kidding me? Is this what we pay these people for? Is this what we pooled our money together, had them trained, built them a station, gave them all the latest technology? Is this what we did it for? To have them turn around and screw us over? Understand this, that man in the car is a civilian. So I don't care if you're Officer Wong, Admiral Wong, Chief Wong, the civilian is the highest ranking motherfucker there. So stand at attention and salute him. Oh, I thought your phone was dead. Oh, your phone ain't dead no more, huh? Your phone ain't dead no more? Yeah, I didn't take nothing from you. I took nothing from you. I took nothing from neither one of you people and you know I didn't. You know I didn't take nothing from you. Officer Wong's going to the Staples Center with Sergeant Martinez. Ah, you know I gave you money. This sounds like a hooker transaction. Wait, this is a criminal offense? Did I just read this is a misdemeanor and you could get your car towed? You suck as a human being. Towing Uber and Lyft drivers' cars. What a... Ugh, disgusting. Oh, I'm not harassing nothing. No, nope, I'm not harassing anything. Y'all entrap me. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Oh, now look at this. Look at this. What you mean, how am I doing? I just got trapped, and I just wanted to stop somebody else from getting trapped. That's all. So how can I help you today? You know, by doing this, you're interfering with an investigation. No, I'm right? not interfering with no investigation. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure a crime has to be committed before you start an investigation on it. There's no such thing as a pre-investigation. This is like the Minority Report. I would have followed them around all day long, the Lakers Spirit Squad with those t-shirt cannons that are in those luggage cases, obviously. Because why else would you go to a Lakers game or a Clippers game with what looks to be your whole wardrobe? So no, whenever I'm a not. car pulls up... I'm so not interfering with anything. I was making a video and they just happened to have some people pull up. Oh, great. A quote 
from a Lieutenant Ferry. Lieutenant Ferry, he says, a lot of the rideshare people we are arresting, believe it or not, we are arresting for their own safety. So they are not putting people in cars that can hurt them. We're arresting you and putting you in jail with the bloods and the crips. So the people on the side of the road that need to go to the Staples Center don't drag you into the woods and kill you. We're going to put you with the Bloods and Crips, MS-13, the Gangster Disciples, uh, the Black Disciples, the Latin Kings, and you're going to be okay. But we do not want Officer Wong and Sergeant Martinez dragging you into the woods and hurting you. This is for your own safety. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If this is not the definition of entrapment, hold on. Let's look up the definition of entrapment. So, the legal definition of entrapment is, entrapment is a practice whereby a law enforcement agent or agent of the state induces a person to commit a crime that the person would have otherwise been unlikely or unwilling to commit. I'm pretty sure no uh, Uber Lyft driver is going to stop on the side of the road when there's nobody there flagging them down. I'm sure the precipice for him stopping was the guy with the luggage flagging him down with a woman right behind him, also had luggage flagging him down. I'm pretty sure the lift driver thought, oh, these guys need a lift. So the police officer's actions precipitated, made the crime happen. A crime. Pulling over and helping somebody who's stranded. I'll take cash. You're really, that's what you're going after people for. That's what we're paying taxes. That's what we're building you police stations for. That's what you're send, we're sending you away to get trained for. That's what we're buying you the latest technology for. That's what we're doing it so you can turn around and screw us on this? On this? This is a joke. Absolute joke. And then you know what happens? They go to court and they get a PD because they're an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, and they don't have that much money. That's why they're doing Uber or Lyft, to make extra money. So they get a PD, which stands for public defender. No, prison deliverer. So they waive your right. They waive this motion. They waive that motion. Then they wave to you when you go off to prison. Uh, this is what we're paying money for. This is what we pooled our money together as a society with neighbors. We said, hey, let's put our money together. Let's create a government. There's certain basic fundamental needs that we need. We need water. We need schooling. We need fire department. We need police. And uh, let's go pay them. Uh, let's send them away to get trained. Let's get them the greatest technology, the best technology, the most up-to-date technology. Let's build them a little police station. And then let's have them stand on the side of the road, wave us down, and uh, arrest us. Yeah, all seems uh, fair to me. I don't see anything all above board. So, anyways, let me go back and start talking about lackluster before I have a coronary. Now, go back, black, go to lack, blah, 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 blah. go to lackluster's channel and uh, click the link. It'll be in my description and then look at his description. Help him out with that. He needs help with that. Please, all hands on deck. Anyways, my man lackluster has a fabulous channel. Subscribe. And in a couple hours, James Gibson will be coming to an unknown location, and we will be going live on YouTube today at uh, 5 p.m. Central. So, my name is Disorderly Product News. I'm wishing you and yours a very safe and happy and healthy work week that's about over. I'll be in Indianapolis this Saturday. Come out, show your support. Remember, never help anybody ever again because you'll just end up going to jail. We've seen that twice already now with the guy that picked up the motorcycle, went to jail because he didn't want to talk to the cop. That's on the caparazzi. And uh, this right here. Because no good deed goes unpunished. The road to hell was paved with good intentions. And when in Rome, do not throw the baby out with the bathwater. See, I know them all. My name is Disorderly Product News saying goodnight.